Hi, this is Dan Bache of Kantar's Employee Insights Group. And this is one of two videos on administering the Remote Employee Experience Survey, which we call REX. So when I use the term REX, it refers to the survey itself. So this first video is about planning and launching and tra tracking participation. And the next survey, I'm sorry, the next uh, video will be on uh, reviewing results and sharing them. So uh, let's go to the, uh, the main site and the address is kantarhrsurvey.com slash rex survey. So this is our homepage. If you scroll down on this page, there's the login and then there's a number of useful documents and, and uh, um, there's also videos here. Uh, there's an oh, there's two overviews here. One's more detailed than the other. There's two articles here. There's a press release, and then there's step-by-step -step guide here, uh, as well as um, a document on understanding results and taking action. So everything you need is in one place. Um, I'm going to go into a demo site instead of going here. Let's go right into there. All right, I'm going to log into our main remote employee experience survey center. This is also called the, the portal. You'll notice there's six main tiles here. Each tile is a tool and each tool does a different thing. We're going to go over the first three tools in this video. The guides we've seen, those just take you to those, those guides right there and then there is a, the next tile is for setting up the survey. It's very easy to do. And so let's show you how. All right. So I've already set up a number of surveys in my account and uh, they're right here. I'm going to demonstrate survey uh, group four because that's uh, something that I put some, some results into, some uh, demo results into. So what you do to create a survey is go right there to create a REX survey and you need to name your survey. And so you can call it, I'm just going to call mine demo survey nine. And the next space is for the number of people you will invite to the survey. And this number is the uh, denominator for calculating the response rate. So I'll, let's just put 10 people in there and if you have a previous survey that you've created, you can use that as a template, but uh, it's easy enough to just create a new survey. So let's just go to next. All right, there are six major categories of items or survey questions. The first category is remote employee experience. There are six questions within this category and these are not selectable. These are mandatory on all surveys. The rest of the categories are selectable. So let's check all of them so you can see all of the, uh, the uh, questions that you can select. And let's just go to next. On this page, you can see that the remote employee experience set has been checked already and grayed out because that's, uh, that set is mandatory. The rest of the questions you can select. All right, now, um, if you go to the bottom, you can select all of them. That would give you 38 uh, rated questions and two open questions. The two open questions are also included in the remote. Uh, if you just selected the remote employee experience set. As you can see, when I'm mousing over the questions, you can see the um, response scale for each question. In this case, on this survey, all the response scales are the same. It's an agreement scale. The first two responses are percent favorable, agree and strongly agree. And um, the bottom two responses, disagree and strongly disagree, are your percent unfavorable. All right, so just let's check all of the questions and go to the next. The next screen is your confirmation screen. It shows you the number of eligible um, participants, the number of questions that you selected. You can go back if you want and change that. But let's just go down uh, to the bottom. You can see that there are the two 
open questions, the first of which is, how can we better support your remote work experience? And what suggestions do you have that would help the company and employees deal with the COVID-19 crisis? All of these questions are also on the overviews, so you can pass those around to select the questions with your team that you would like to use. So once you've selected your questions and confirmed them, just click Submit and your survey is created. Now it's open now, which means that anybody who answers the survey from this point on will go, will count. In other words, their, their responses will, will count. Um, let's go back to the home and let's go to survey group four. Now the next serve, the next step in this is to, as you can see, the survey is open, but I want to preview it without my results counting just to make sure that everything's okay. All right, so if you click preview, you can see that there's a standard opening. I'll give you a second to read that. At this point, I'm just going to, in this preview, respond to, to the questions, uh, just to make sure everything works okay. And these are not counting toward the survey. Again, we're just in preview mode. Um, in this case, there's 38 rated questions. Just gonna go through them very quickly. You don't have to respond to every question. You can skip some. All right, so let's answer these and go on to the open questions and easy enough to type in and then you're done. When your survey is done, uh, there's a note that shows that your responses have been saved and counted. And that is it for setting up and checking the survey. The next step is to go back into the site go into your survey and we're ready to then email it. So if you click email the survey, what you can do is just simply paste your addresses into this space and making sure that there's a comma between each uh, address. Now you can also send the survey to yourself, grab the link out of that survey and forward it to others. So you can have a custom email that way, it's very easy. All right, so I'm going to just send this survey to myself and show you what it looks like. So if you click submit, the survey has been sent to me. Let's go into my email and you can see there's the email. All right, so here's a standard invitation for the email with a link. Now this is the, the same link that will go to everyone. And so if you click that, you go right into the survey. All right, so let's just go to next. And I'm not gonna answer anything here and submit the survey. And that is it. So just to go over where we've been, we have set up the survey, we have emailed it, and now let's go into participation to track what's going on. If you go into the participation center, it's going to bring up your surveys. I'm going to go into survey four, which is my uh, the one that we just sent. And you can see here that there were 10 eligible uh, respondents, eight answered on the web, fewer than three answered on mobile. Um, a total of eight respondents for an 80% response rate at this point. So, if you have fewer than three respondents for confidentiality purposes there will be no results uh, shown either for participation or for uh, survey results overall and uh, so once you've hit three respondents you'll get a response rate so that is it for uh, setting up and, cond and emailing the survey out part two is about reviewing your survey results